What up, dogs? Gnarla today, so you get to see my beautiful face this morning. Ah. <laughs> Prom, art show, and more after the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. This week is Assistant Principals Appreciation Week. I want to give a thanks to both of our great assistant principals, Mr. Hale and Mr. Lupke. Thank you for your effort and hard work around the school. And hey, if you see them around the school, make sure to tell them, go Hoosiers. <laughs> Over 100 works of art made by Frankfurt High School students will be featured in this year's Zai Lotus High Art Show held at the Frankfurt Community Public Library. The exhibit is on display from April 5th to May 5th and will have artwork from all four county schools and Frankfurt Middle School. An artist recep uh, reception and award ceremony are scheduled for 6 to 7 p.m. Tuesday, April 9th. Hey seniors, there are many scholarship applications due this month, such as Ivy Tech, Stacey Ball Legacy Scholarship, Lions Club, and more. I would highly recommend applying for those, especially if you're like me and don't want to be in student debt. For more updates about the upcoming scholarships, make sure to stop by the student services or check the chatter for more updates. Now to Brian with some sports. Yo, thanks Dougie, and good morning dogs. It looks like yesterday, mostly everything was canceled due to the weather. But other than that, the varsity baseball team moved to 3-0 on the season with an A-5 win at Rossville last night. Chris Sandoval picked up the win on the mound with five strong innings of relief and really solid defense behind him. Matthew Barry led the offense with four walks and a single. Carlos Lopez was one for two with two walks, two runs, and two stolen bases. Well, that's all I have for today, and now I'm going to send it to Garrick with weather. Yo, thanks, Brian. Last night, as predicted, it was indeed rainy. And then it just got stupidly cold this morning for some odd reason. Like, 32 degrees is kind of cold, and if you don't know, that's freezing. As the day continues, it's going to be rather windy with some possible snow showers that will give way to a mixture of rain and snow for the afternoon. If you guys are curious about the high for today, I want you all to take a wild guess for the high. Yeah, it's a whopping 39 degrees. I wouldn't call that a high, but winds are going to once again range from 20 to 30 miles per hour with a 70% chance of rain. So bring your raincoats and maybe some rain boots if you still dress like that. But on the downward slope of the day, there is a chance of snow. In the evening transition, there's going to be some showers later on with some snow mixed in. The low is going to drop to be around 33 degrees with winds ranging from 15 to 20 mi 25 miles per hour and the chance of snow is 80%, so there's definitely something in the discussion. Snow is supposed to be no less than an inch, so it's nothing too crazy, but that's gonna conclude my yap session about the weather. Now back to Irwin, because we all know that's the main reason you're here. Dogs, promise coming up very soon. This year the theme is Enchanted Evening. It will be held on Saturday, April 13th at 8 p.m. Hosted at the Clinton County Fairgrounds. The cost is $25 per ticket right now, so get them quick because the price will increase on the last two days of sale. Remember that you need to have a signed parental permission slip before you can purchase tickets. You can grab your slips and tickets at the bookstore. Now, for lunch today, in lines one and three, one stew three will be French toast sticks and sausage links, and in lines four, meatball subs. A special happy birthday goes out to Kevin Garcia de la Alba, Kimberly Guijosa Valdez, Xavier McIntosh, and Enrique Ortega Alanis. That's all for the morning announcements, dogs. Have a great rest of your Wednesday, dogs. <laughs>